This is Ukraine's latest missile named the Flamingo, but it has a striking twin. The UAE-based defense firm Melanian's FP-5, unveiled at IDEX 2025, and Ukraine's Flamingo are almost indistinguishable in form and function. But how did one became the blueprint for the other? The FP-5, introduced by the Emirati British Melanian Group, boasted staggering specs, 3,000 km range, a 1-ton warhead, a 6-meter wingspan, 6-ton launch weight, and speeds up to 950 km per hour. Just months later, Ukraine's Firepoint began serial production of a remarkably similar system, the Flamingo, which mirrors those specifications closely. Let's break it down. Range. Both clock in at approximately 3,000 km. Warhead, FP-5's 1,000 kg, Flamingo may even increase that to 1,150 kg per Ukrainian sources. Weight and wingspan, both weigh approximately 6 tons with 6 meter wingspans. Speed, cruising at 850 to 900 km per hour, maxing near 950 km per hour. Guidance, both utilize combined inertial and satellite systems with EW resistance. FP-5's production was streamlined through simplicity, fixed wings, no container launch, enabling 20 to 40 minutes prep and over 50 units per month. The Flamingo follows suit, emphasizing rapid deployment and high output. This vehicle transported missile extends Ukraine's reach deep into Russian territory, beyond the Urals, possibly targeting strategic hubs. With its massive warhead, the Flamingo may outclass both Tomahawk and Storm Shadow in destructive potential. And here's the game changer. With a maximum range of 3,000 kilometers, the Flamingo can strike 70 of Russia's 90 airbases, along with countless other targets, covering 5.8 million square kilometers. To put that into perspective, that's over 16 times the coverage of ATACMS, which reaches just 0.35 million square kilometers. The missile's size reduces stealth, making it more detectable, especially by airborne radar. In the FP-5 and Flamingo, we see a striking case of military adaptation. Melanian's blueprint delivered the concept, while Ukraine's Firepoint transformed it into a domestically produced strategic asset, doubling range and payload compared to older systems.